What's going on guys? Impromptu recording. I've been buying some auctions up on ComC or on eBay through ComC and was pricing them and figured I would go ahead and sort of show you guys what I've been doing uh, quietly here. Haven't been making as many videos, but I'll keep making videos when I want. So this is sort of one of my secrets, which, you know, it's not really a secret. It's just it takes time and some people want to do it. Some people don't want to do it. There's nights that I can do it, nights that I can't do it. You sort of got to be on top of these auctions, but basically what it is, is buying auctions on eBay, putting them on ComC. Now, having said that, I'm going to list these all on ComC and in all likelihood, I'll give them some time and then I'll put some cards together for a shipment, get them shipped home, and then I'll flip them over to eBay and sell them there. But for the time being, I figure I might as well have them lifted up. These aren't really cards that, that I wanna keep too much. And we'll just show you sort of what I bought up tonight or, or what I want at auctions, because I did buy a few cards and, and I think I got them at, at pretty good prices. So let's have a look here. So we got a Matty Beneers Black diamond dominance so this one is numbered out of 100 there is a version out of a thousand anyways i picked this up for seven dollars i think good price for a rookie year card the dominance i assume an insert anyway seven bucks so we're gonna go ahead and list that up at 24 23 as you can see here i already went through and i was doing this and figured you know what why not record it and show people this is a cool card here picked up the victor headman medallions green so these are numbered out of 10 and i'm not really a fan of these emerald greens i uh, I do like the medallions in general, but the emerald green, I'm not really a fan of. However, with the blue against like the, the Tampa Bay logo, I think it looks pretty good. So I went ahead and got this headman and I got it for $18.50, PSA seven, but it doesn't matter, numbered out of 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and list this up at $89. I think a little bit high, but it's fine. I'm just gonna get it listed up there and that's it. Connor McDavid, Lucky 13, this uh, EPAC achievement, uh, got it for $22.59. As you can see right here, the lowest listed currently is $64.99 on uh, ComC. So I'm gonna list mine, as you can see, got it listed up for $59.54, gonna undercut that. And I'm only into the card for $22.59. So hopefully we can move that and this will almost pay for, for everything that I spent here. And I'll go over those numbers in just a minute. Something that I do like to target is autos. Um, definitely look for autos of players, especially when you can pick them up for like three bucks like this, like Nikolai Ehlers three bucks for this auto nice enough card it's spx but you know people want autos and a cheap auto for someone who you know wants to collect winnipeg jets cards or nikolai ehlers cards they're going to be able to get this off me for seven dollars and 45 cents which is will be the cheapest one listed on cob so i think a, a pretty decent buy there i also like to look for numbered stuff that's huge in terms of what i'm looking for right now i like autos i like numbered stuff i want name name players rookie year and i just use my gut you guys got to use your gut right like cards that look nice i'll i'll go ahead and grab we got a tage thompson game data moments here scores five goals love tage still anyways got this for three dollars and 75 cents got it listed up for nine dollars and 87 cents lowest listed before that was 10 bucks uh taylor hall here Rainbow foil black border. This is numbered out of 100 and we got it for a dollar 77. So, you know, it's Taylor Hall, but whatever. Dollar 77 was the lowest one was 689. We listed ours at 679 and uh, see how we do there. Then we got an artifacts gold spectrum. So numbered out of 25 of Genny Kuznetsov. Lowest listed was $49.50. So I think that's, <laughs> I'm fairly certain that's high on the card. So I went ahead and listed it at $39 and I'll, I'll just continue to move this down and possibly have it shipped home. Like I said, I'll see what I ship home, what I don't, but that's just what I'm thinking right now. And then one thing recently, Brent, my buddy Brent, uh, you know, into the patches and I've gotten into them lately. I scooped up at an LCS here or not an LCS. Well, it is an LCS, a local card show. Anyways, at a local card show here, I scooped up a bunch of Black Diamond. It was, I believe, 17, 18 Black Diamond patches. And so not patch autos, just patch cards of key players, guys like Steven Stamkos, Kucherov, who else did I get? Vasilevsky, but it wasn't just Tampa Bay players. I got Kane, I got Philippe Forsberg. Anyways, they seem to do really well. So I'm 
trying out this patch thing. I did really well on those out of a dollar bin. So I'm trying to give some patches a go to. And what I do look for specifically in the patches is that they're game worn. I think that on eBay, if you can put game worn patch in the item description, or sorry, not the item description, in the title, I think it makes a difference. I, I think it, it adds something psychologically when people see it, they're like, oh, it's a uh, it's game worn it's not just you know some chinese knockoff jersey that they diced up and and put on there you know like the the what do you call them the manufactured patches you know anyways so we got a ray bork patch here picked it up for three dollars and 25 cents and as you can see here um ray bork game used trading card you have received a ray bork game used jersey trading card so always targeting the game used and a little patch there, but it's Ray Bork in an abs jersey. Decent looking card and for $3.25. I was getting about $15, eight to $15 Canadian on those black diamond patches. So I don't know, I'm gonna list this at 18. Maybe I'll go at 16, 16 something and whatever. I, I think that's pretty reasonable and I can lower this, but trying out some of these patch cards. But just to give you an idea, these, Purchases totaled for me $67.91 US. I have these total listings, not including that Ray Bork that I just changed the number on. Anyways, I had them selling for $275.12, so that's a 305% ROI if I was to sell them all at listing. Now, obviously, I'm not going to sell them all at listing, but look, like just the Connor McDavid, if I can sell this at six. $59 if I sold it $55 I'm only into all these cards for 67 and I still got this sick headman here you know numbered out of 10 which someone is gonna want and I'm obviously gonna get a couple bucks for so um, yeah just comfortable with these purchases and just grinding these out but I thought I would show you guys what I was doing I was gonna show you how I go through comps auctions and pick out what I want to bid on but maybe I'll do that in a separate video I'm gonna keep this one a little bit shorter but that's what I'm doing guys Take care, have fun, we'll check you.